Check out the first video today. We've started like a new thing, like a new series. It's not really a series, but it is. I don't know. It's basically like a thing we're doing where we have to build up a team for Super Sunday. So make sure you don't miss any videos in the next week so you see how the teams progress. And uh, it's actually really good because why should you guys care who wins? Well, the winner, or the loser should I say, will give away 12,000 FIFA points to one of you watching this video. So it's really good. It gets everybody involved. Let's aim for 5,000 likes on this video. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. Just subbed and turned on post notifications. Enjoying all videos. Guys, we've got a new subscriber. Leave a comment saying welcome. And uh, yeah, turn on notifications. Yeah, like this guy. What a legend. Thanks, mate. I hope you enjoy the videos. So then, I'm going to open some packs and try and make some money. I've got 447,000 coins. We've got some Man of the Matches. And of course, we've got Man of the Match Verratti. Yes! Yes! I'm so, so happy about that. Hello, welcome to the Half Past Eight video today, guys. Now, we are running a little series this week, and it's called Fight for King. So we started it in the previous video, so make sure you go and watch it, and don't miss it, and we're going to be doing it throughout this week, all for Super Sunday. So make sure you go and check that out. Now, today, um, I've got some Foot Champions updates, guys, and we're going to show you some goals, some incredible goals, actually, this uh, from yesterday, and uh, basically showing you where I've ended up in Foot Champs this weekend. All right then so we went into Sunday guys with eight wins and four losses not the end of the world at all um, but anyway we start off this game here with an absolutely fantastic finish from Hullet there guys and then we get the equalizer straight away uh, but then we do get a nice little penalty now I will just say at this point that we are using the 4-1-2-1-2 we were trying it out basically and I was kind of struggling. I was having uh, Ben Yedder on up front with Ronaldo and um, Hadji in CM. And I was kind of struggling at the start of games. But then I was bringing on best, prime moments best up front for Ben Yedder. And also Mbappe. And when I brought them on, things changed. Things went insane. Like, it went from really struggling, you know, 1-1. As you can see here, the second game, it was 1-1 again. But as soon as I bring on those super subs and Salah as well... Things just popped and it, it went crazy. So, with that in mind, I thought, let's just try and start with best. So, yeah, this I'll show you what happens next. In terms of what am I doing right now, I don't really know. Just try and make some money. I don't know when Team of the Season is going to release. Uh, but we want to make sure we've got coins for Team of the Season. Um, then when it does launch, I can get some players straight away. So, I'm going to open a load of 7.5s now and see... If I can get any walkouts. 14-0 is where I finished in champs. I was telling you guys yesterday. That's the first time ever I've gone 14-0. So it's kind of hard to really think who to buy now. When you go 14-0, it's flawless. And uh, sometimes if you're winning games, you shouldn't really change anything. So I do think that I might go for prime moment Vieira. I might. I think that Vieira is a player that will never leave the team. So maybe it would make sense to get the prime moments version. We started these games with the 4-1-2-1-2 with best up front and Mbappe in CM, guys. And oh my word, the pairing of best and Ronaldo is absolutely unreal. As you see there, that guy rage quit straight away. But just, I don't know, there's something about this Ronaldo and best up front together. They just feed off each other. It's mental. It's like... You know, I'll turn and Best will just be there or, you know, I'll hold the ball and Ronaldo will just be making that perfect run. But yeah, we get another rage quit straight away here after this second goal with a nice little fake shot boost there with Pele. But Best on the back post there. And guys, honestly, Best is a goal scoring machine. I've just noticed that I'm wearing the same hoodie. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, yeah, he's a... Oh, my God. Incredible. So, yeah, we, uh, we're we we're picking up here, guys. Tomorrow is the Champions League. So, this is a chance for me to get some players ready for the repeatable SBC. That is surely going to be released. It usually is. So, yeah, another reason for me to get a load of uh, non-rares and rares. And uh, tomorrow, yeah, I think at about 6 o'clock, they'll probably release some Champions League stuff. So, yeah. Who's going to get a team of the week this week? Do you know what I often do? I go to Twitter and I type in team of the week or TOTW, TOTW prediction. 
and usually someone's yeah got one straight away here let's have a look so i'm just looking at one now a prediction website we've got a godin who's predicted for team of the week uh de bruyne of course who do you think is going to be in team of the week name the top three players who you think are going to be in team of the week all right then so getting on into the next game here we've seen that either we just need two more wins here and i'm happy with that you know um 14 wins at the moment is um, look at that pass from best though guys in towards ronaldo oh look at my reaction on that one as well it's just beautiful mate some of my reactions as well are quite um quite interesting because you know when i score a nice goal i just can't help but just be like oh, oh. A ridiculous reaction but um yeah the guy equalized straight away there with a kickoff goal the kickoff goals need to go in fifa 20 guys they need to go i did a tweet as well and it's like I, I, it's not only that i hate kickoff goals from the opposition point of view frustrates you i don't want to score kickoff goals though look at that look at that guys was that a penalty was that a penalty didn't look like a penalty to me perfectly timed tackle what can i do what can i do Anyway, get, look at my reaction. I'm just devastated because we, we, we look, look at the time, look at the score. You know, this is end moments of the game, man. And I was really picking up, and I thought I was going to grab it, but then we just do that. Very frustrating. And then he just goes and scores this cross as well, just to just to top things off. I mean, it's just a just a hoof in the box in it at the end of the day. But it was a loss anyway from that penalty. Just. It's really, really frustrating. It's, it's hard to take stuff like that. I tell you what, this is absolutely crazy. I started the video on 16,000 FIFA points. I've not had one walkout. Not one. I really can't believe it. I can't believe it. How can you spend 16,000 FIFA points to not get a walkout? I really can't understand that. That is absolutely terrible. Shocking. I've had probably two players worth over 10k. I've had Kadira and Diego Costa. Anyway, okay, so we get on into the next game after that horrible loss. We pick ourselves up and, you know, we just get on with it at the end of the day. But nice little finish from Hullet here. The guy was controlling his goalkeeper. I feel like these days it can hinder you more if you do control the goalkeeper. So I'm trying not to do that. But then he goes and scores a kickoff goal. Like, yeah, it's a nice goal. But, I mean, there's nothing I could do about it. And that's the frustrating thing. But look at this little finish from Salah. I'll be honest, it was not intended. And I had to show the replay for this because it's absolutely beautiful. But like I say, it was not intended, guys. I was sort of spamming and panicking a little bit. And that just happened. No idea. But then Salah also then goes and scores a beautiful um, left foot Salah shot. And, uh, yeah, we win the game there. We pick that up. So, 13 wins. Just need one more win here, guys. Going into the next game. Hopefully, we can grab this win. We've seen the Lineker, uh, the Mertens there. Nice little team. Pogba, who you don't actually see a great deal of. But when I do play Pogbas, they destroy me. I'll be honest. But Best here, doing that scene work with Ronaldo. Best is uh, just amazing at those finishes across the goal. Absolutely fantastic. It's really what was needed in the team. Especially in full 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two, but 3-3 three, three towards the end moments of the game here. And we slot in a nice little goal with Hullet. And we do score another goal after that. Um, and we end up winning that game 5-3, guys. So, as you can see from the celebration, I was just happy that to finally hit the 14 wins there. Not the greatest of 14-win uh, record for me. Um, five losses just, just came in, really. Each week, it's a different story. Each week, it's a different set of games. And, uh, yeah, that's just how we ended. So, that's the 14-5 for me this weekend, guys. Not the greatest, but... Hey, not the end of the world either. So what do you get for 16,000 FIFA points? To be honest, pretty much nothing. Uh, I do not recommend you do this at home. Spend your money on something else. Go to Alton Towers or, I don't know, uh, I don't know. Buy a game. Uh, give it to charity. I don't know. But uh, I wouldn't do that anyway. So take a look at the team, guys. Who would you buy now? Leave it in the comments. Would you go with Prime Moments Vieira? Would you go with Team of the Year Mbappe? Is there a player that you would buy that I've not mentioned? Leave it in the comments. Tomorrow is Champions League. Hopefully, we're going to see some good stuff. And uh, yeah, sorry about that. That was not very entertaining from my perspective. I was hoping to get some walkouts, but yeah. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs>